I'm going to go in there with an overwhelming sense of gratitude to be here, to have fans, period, <laughs> to have people that look to me as someone to look up to. I mean, that's a pretty flattering thought that, that to have a fan, to have people that think you possess a certain quality or qualities that are admirable or so I think my the, 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 the greatest feeling I'll have is one of gratitude as far as you know as, as the the show goes I don't I don't know I mean I, I don't I, I hope I, I hope nobody feels like I let them down um, you know, if if I had, if I if I could look back to my preparation and say, well, you know what, you know, you were lazy, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, you screwed off, you missed meals, you should have done more cardio, then I would feel like I let people down because I knew I could have been better. Um, but knowing that I did the best I could with what I knew, the best I knew how to do. Um, But I hope everybody, um, I hope nobody feels let down. Um, I don't, I, I don't feel let down and I hope nobody else feels that way. Like I said, I didn't come here expecting to win, but I always dream. And I always, you know, if I'm in bed at night, I always try and think big. You know, so when I'm doing cardio or I'm in bed or... You know, even driving in my car, I'll think of things. I'll think, like, well, what if I won the Arnold? You know, what would I say? You know, what would I... You're up on stage, like I said, with this, with Arnold, this icon, this man who's achieved, who, who's achieved so much, and how, how, could I, how could I even rehearse something that would be better than what he could say spontaneously? But I think I would, I would want to say something to the effect of how how great it is, you know, obviously you're going to say, yeah, how great it is to win this show and how, what a dream it is and how spectacular it is and every other thing that comes along, how it's every bodybuilder's dream. But at the same time, I think I would want people to know, you know, but I have a baby on the way and I have a fiance to go home to. And these are the best things in life. When she told me that she was pregnant, like that was victory. That was, I've won, the, I've won the junior nationals, I've won the nationals, I've won the New York Pro, I won the flex last week. You know, I just, I'm really happy with, with, with my debut at the Arnold. I've experienced victory, like victory is sweet. But that was a victory, you know what I mean? And I don't think, I don't think anything, if, if by some stroke of luck I was able to one day win the Olympia or something, I don't think it would top that. But, and that's what I would want people to know. Maybe you sit there in the audience and you think, oh man, that guy's living the dream. That guy, you know, he just won, he just won the freaking Arnold. He won the Olympia. He's, 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 I'll, I'll never know what that feels like. But that's not true because the, my greatest victory, the thing that's greatest for me is something that, so many other people get to experience, whether it's the birth of a child or, you know, marrying someone you love, or just feeling true love. Those are the things that are victories in life. So you always tend to look to other people like, wow, man, that guy's got it. Whether it's a movie star, some kind of celebrity, you say, wow, what, what it would it be like to be that person? But probably the things that are most important to that person are the same things that you are you you have in your life or you're searching for or you can't attain because it's 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 either love or it's a family or it's it's all it's all just those things. It's not you know driving a certain kind of car or walking around and people knowing who you are or wanting to take a photo with you. That's all cool, but honestly, that's all bullshit. It's, it's, it's about, it's about your family. It's about the way you treat people. It's about, you know, I, I think this, I don't know if this is kind of a morbid thought, but 
so I sometimes I wonder to myself, you know, you think well, what would what would what would some what would people say about you when you die? Yeah, what would what would they? How would they remember you? And and there was a quote one time, and somebody said, it might, it might have been in my high school yearbook, somebody put it, but it was something to the effect of, you know, rarely do people ever remember what you say, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. Yeah, the most the most important thing in life are the way you treat people, no matter who they are, whether it's your taxi driver, or it's, you know, or it's your your father, or the way you treat people, whether, you know, people will see it or not, um, you know, the, the, way, the way you act when nobody's looking, I think those are the things that are most important in life. You know, I've, I've been lucky enough to have a really great father. He's someone who's really strong. He's a he's a man of conviction. He's somebody who always gets the job done. He's someone that'll back you up. He's someone you want on your side. And I've been lucky enough to have him and watch him and the way he lives his life, and the way he deals with people, the way he treats people, the way he's treated me. Um, and I, I know he's a great guy, because I know he was a great role model for me. So I think that if I can follow in his footsteps, and be the kind of guy he is that um, that that'll be good enough for, you know, to serve as a role model for anybody else because I can't think of anybody better than him.